Is ASCAP finally better than BMI? Will this confusing argument ever end? Well, it will depend on ASCAP's new infrastructure that they currently have in place, their ability to actually pay out advances, and who will sit on the board in the future. Now, this comes on the back end of BMI announcing their pay cuts from 90% to 85% last month. This is causing a lot of frustration within the music industry, but you should be armed with the proper knowledge to understand what's happening here so that you can make your judgment on who you will choose as your PRO going forward or if you're switching your catalog from one to the next. But we're gonna settle this coming up right now on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham, let's hop right in. All right, so let's start at ASCAP's infrastructure. Since the pandemic, I've been watching ASCAP upgrade its internal infrastructure bit by bit without taking from the writers and composers as BMI is doing. They still have a few kinks to work out, but these are minor compared to the ease of use of their entire system. ASCAP runs efficiently in my book compared to BMI, and they are a refreshing company to deal with in the music publishing world. I ain't gonna lie to you. I noticed this happening, I was watching BMI, and a lot of you all probably weren't because you, maybe you're newcomers to the business, but I've been in it for quite some time, and I've been using both ends of the spectrum when it comes to PROs. But to be able to see the developments that they started taking early, bit by bit, versus what BMI is going to try to do now while taking a chunk out of what they pay out to folks is, you know, is, is, is pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? To be able to see this stuff open up over time. Now, here's our elephant in the room, the advanced payouts. ASCAP still doesn't win this battle of the advanced payout. This is BMI's golden goose. BMI will advance you as low as three figures just to keep you at the company longer. Now, pause for a second because both companies will advance you to keep you at the company. ASCAP just won't advance anybody, okay? You gotta have a relationship with the company. You, they have to meet a certain threshold to make that happen with ASCAP. They're not just gonna do that. Now, once people get hip to these tactics, you'll begin to see why many people will champion BMI. For some, this may solve your money problems. However, shouldn't service be your first priority? When it comes to, not, you know, if, when it comes to the company. Now, if, the, if, if you're cool with BMI, you know, I'm not getting on you about it. I'm just saying that I would prefer a more efficiently ran system because for the average person, getting a three figure advance payout is not, I mean, come on, you know, we want to get to the five figure lane for advance payouts, but we can do that at both agencies. It's just that you're going to have to have your relationships established at ASCAP. Now, who sits on the board? Because this is going to be important. BMI is made up of broadcasters, people who work in the communications business. After all, it does stand for Broadcast Music Incorporated. And ASCAP's board, on the other hand, is made up of writers, composers, and publishers who only serve two-year terms and then have to get reelected. So you see why ASCAP means American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers, and you see why they are not for-profit company. When BMI decides to go for profit, like they did in 2022, this heavily minimizes all creative approaches to how the company will make money for the creatives or with the creatives in mind. Now we have a, I mean, both companies have a bottom line to, to look at, but this one now is way more profit focused, corporate focused now, BMI is, okay? So is ASCAP the better choice now? If you do not need an advance from ASCAP anytime soon before you become a hit writer or producer, then yes, ASCAP is the best choice hands down. I'ma say it. Should I wait for an infrastructure to rebuild at BMI? If you don't mind the pay cuts, I do recommend it. Simply because trying to move an entire catalog in the window that BMI gives you, your anniversary window, is a pain, it's a headache, and you wanna make sure all the work gets switched over correctly and accurately. It's a pain, I can tell you firsthand. Now, what if I am in a publishing deal? Now here's where this goes downhill for you with BMI. If you have a deal with the publisher on top of this new 15% deal with BMI, then you will feel the effects immediately. Here comes the double dip. Now a collection fee of 21.375% from performance revenue is now redacted from all of my writers in 15% uh, collection deals with the likes of Song Trust, TuneCore, and CD Baby Pro versus the prior 16.75% that was already reducted. So if you're in a 25% admin deal, it's now 25.625%. And then lastly, if you're in a 50-50 co-pub deal, 
it's now 37 and a half percent. So you can see how just bumping it up an extra 5% is beginning to take a huge chunk of the funds, depending on the deals that you're in. Most of you all are in this song trust tune court deal. So this is where you were prior to the announcement. And this is where you will be starting at the top of the year. 21.375% of your funds are now ejected from your performance revenue. All right. What if I collect and remove the middleman? Good question. Then your take home percentage is now 85% if you're at BMI. Well, what about ASCAP's take home percentage? It's 90%. Now, in order to get all of this, all of your money publishing wise without this middleman that you just asked me about taking the cut that was song trust right here, you're going to need to build the company's foundation the right way so that you appear as a song trust on your own. How are you going to do this? I knew you were going to ask me this, so what I did was this. I created something called the 60 Day Record Label Course, and it's designed to help you build the foundation for your record and publishing company in 60 days or less without you searching all over the internet, okay, to find all the nooks and crannies and bits of information to do everything the correct way. It took quite some time to build. So we're gonna build a strong LLC foundation, which you're gonna need to operate and be viewed as a publisher yourself. You'll learn how to play the game via contract so you don't get screwed, and you'll be set up to collect domestic and international publishing royalties without the middleman taking 15%, which you just asked me uh, earlier in the video. And all the stuff in the right-hand side, uh, right-hand corner is included within the course. Check it out down below the video. Grab the free stuff below if this is your first time watching the video. 10 major steps to increase your record label's profits. A free split, split, bleh, a free split sheet is included with this. Now, if you decide to switch to ASCAP, you'll lose your easy royalty advance privileges. Most of you all ain't even going for that, okay? But you will gain peace of mind in their system. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm talking about customer service is like, wow. You get to keep 90% of your payout. Wonderful. Now, if you stay at BMI... You have to roll with the punches during the infrastructure rebuild. However, you do get to take advantage of their royalty advanced system. It's always a plus. And lastly, you will have to endure the pay cut. And this pay cut just means that it's going to take longer to get your royalties. A smaller royalty pool means that it's going to take longer to get the royalties that you're actually owed per play, per performance, per stream, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that's the downside to this. Money is going to slow if you're at BMI. So this... This is kind of where I'm shifting to. If you can shift your grade, if you got to stick it out at BMI, it's okay. Just, you know, adjust accordingly. All right, music money makers. Hopefully this provided you with enough information to move forward with your decision on who's going to handle your PRO royalties. I really like what ASCAP is doing. And I'm currently recommending ASCAP to those, especially if they don't need the advances or they don't really care about the advances. So make your decisions, do your research. But Music Money Makers, if you make music, remember you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com, jump into the 60-day record label course, download the free stuff below, book a call on musicmoneymakeover.com, and I'll see you next time. Peace.